So before I get into this review, I'm just going to go over how my ratings work. So 10 to 7 is a positive review with 10 being the gates of heaven, 9 being amazing or awesome, uh, 8 being great, 7 being good, 6 to 4, eh, you know, maybe it's good, maybe it's not, 3 and under negative review with 3 being bad, 2 being really bad, 1 being the gates of hell and 0 being nowhere you want to go. So let's get this started. Hi, so this is going to be a different kind of a review. This is going to be the first book review that I uh, had mentioned in one of my previous videos. So this book is uh, Come Closer from Sarah Gran, Grain? Sarah Gran. And um, this book, um, so this, <laughs> so anyway, uh, this book, it's, it's, it's got a pretty special spot for me. Uh, not because the book was like, you know, amazing or anything, but so right before the co whole coronavirus shit happened, I was at uh, my local Bookman's and uh, I was picking out, I was trying to find a, a horror book. You know, I hit Barnes and Noble before that and I'm really picky with books. Um, I can't read really thick books because I have ADHD and I'm not going to finish that motherfucker. That's why I've tried reading it like 17 times. Anyway, um, so... I ended up going to Bookman's. I found this book on the shelf for like eight dollars. Um, I'm in the ho I'm in the horror novel section. I look up like the light the lights like flickering and everything. And you know this is one day before the whole coronavirus hit. The the store is going to be closing in like ten minutes, so they're starting to shut the lights down around the store. And I see this book, and you know I don't even read it yet. I I didn't even read it yet, but look at this. It looks good. And read the back I don't, I don't know if this is opposite because of the way that I'm filming but I'm gonna tell you about the book anyway so anyway uh, come closer it's about a girl named Amanda who basically she thinks that she's well she's clearly going she's she's clearly uh, um, being possessed but she's trying to act it off as if she's going crazy to try and save her relationship and to save her own life. She doesn't want to accept the fact that she's possessed by a demon. But basically, it's about this girl named Amanda. Named Amanda. Um, she, out of, out of nowhere really, she starts having these dreams. These repetitive dreams. It's all, it's all the same dream uh, about she keeps meeting this girl in a kind of like beach-like area. But it's all blood red. It's pretty cool, but she keeps uh, meeting this this girl in her dreams, and she's she mentions sometime in, in the book that she had actually seen this girl that she keeps seeing in her dreams. Uh, the girl the girl that I'm talking about now, the main character Amanda, she's in her late twenties, I believe, and uh, she's she's seen her a couple times in her real life uh, when she was a little girl, and now she's starting to see her in her dreams out of nowhere, and the the more times that she has this dream every night the more batshit crazy her life gets and the more out of control things get. So with the way that the story goes, it's really letting the audience imagine is she actually possessed or is she just going crazy? But with the circumstances, uh, you know, I, I personally believe that she's possessed. It has a really confusing kind of unexecuted ending, which left a lot of questions for me personally, and not in the good way. Where like you know it, it it's got a lot of rereadability, but in just some ways where it's just like, so what the fuck happened? And apparently we're getting a movie out of this book, which I'm personally not happy with, just because the story itself isn't all that original. And again, the exit the ending wasn't all that well executed, and the book itself wasn't all that startling for me. It has a couple uh, standout points, but and 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 with the size of the novel, it I mean flimsy piece of shit this is 165 pages my guy but it's not a bad book it's got a well-paced story and it's got really good atmosphere but again the the story itself just isn't all that original and honestly surprising it's pretty unpredictable just because a lot of the times the the um way that the book is read it really has you questioning you know is she actually possessed or is she going crazy but uh, but with, with such a short read, it really can only fit so much in it. And this is a really kind of, not uh, not like claustrophobic kind of tale. It's got a big environment around it, but 
it just doesn't make too much use of all the surroundings. It's a, it's a very repetitive story, and it doesn't get that creative with a lot of parts. But if you were, if you're looking for a fun like chill to just pass the time with, especially while you're in fucking lockdown, and you want to just you know say that you read a book, this is definitely one to pick up. Um, especially if you're a horror reader like like myself. Like all I all I do is read horror books. All I review are horror books. And with this being my first one, I'm not too ashamed of it because it's not a bad book. I do recommend it. I just think that it's for people who just want a solid demon story, just something to pass the time, not get too scared, but also not exactly be let down. Again, I think that the author does a lot of good in this novel. I just don't think it's that creative of a piece. And the fact that we're getting a horror m movie of it, like an actual film adaptation, I just think that the book should just be left alone. But overall, I'm gonna give this book not quite a positive review. Maybe, maybe a six point nine, a six point eight. Give me a second, folks. I'm gonna go with a six point nine. This book wasn't, again, um, one that I would probably reread again, but it's not bad. It's just not all that original or all that, you know, praiseworthy. It's not a, no a novel that I'm gonna say you need to read this book, but it is one if you wanna pass the time and just, you know, while, while you're in like a lockdown or some shit. This is, this is the perfect book to pick up. So yes, this has been my first book review, and uh, my next vi video will be a review of Bloodshot. No. This was your idea. So yeah, <laughs> thank you for checking out this <laughs> video, and we will see you in uh, the next video. Maybe not. <laughs> well,